Yo, what's happening guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 21 and in this video we're going to go over the page.php template. Wow. Alright then guys, so in the last tutorial we went over the front page.php template. We created that for our front page. Now, this is only going to be the template for the very front page. For any other content page on the website, by default, it's going to fall back on this page.php template right here, okay? So when I say any other page, if I just bring up uh, WordPress backend area, let's go into the pages, WordPress backend area, that sounds a little bit dirty. All those pages there, if we see all those, um, these are the other pages on your website. So we've only got one at the minute, sample page, but if we add loads of others, then they would all be the pages, right, on your website. And when we view those pages in a browser, WordPress is gonna fall back on this page.php template um, for those pages. Let's just take a look at this uh, picture again. I showed you this picture a couple of lessons back. It's the template hierarchy. So these are our singular pages. We've got either posts, which is like blogs, or pages. So I'm talking about pages, right? A static page. So when we create those static pages, it's gonna look for a page template. Now it's not the front page, it's just a default template, right? Not a custom one. So the first file it's gonna look for is the page hyphen slug. So if we've called it about, it's gonna look for page hyphen about.php. Now we've not created anything like that in our theme folder. So the next thing it's gonna do is look for page hyphen ID of the page. And we've not created one of those either, all right? So then it falls back on this page.php template. So that is the template currently that our theme is gonna load up whenever it sees a static page on our website okay so let's take a look at what that currently looks like um, the page dot, there we go page.php and first thing it does is get the header like pretty much any other template then we've got this opening div and main tag which is on nearly every template as well and then what we're doing is doing this little loop part they say while we have the post so if there's some content basically get a template part and it's within the template parts folder content. So it's in here, template parts, and it's asking for the content template part. And it's also specifying this other variable called page. So that means we want this one, content hyphen page. Right, so it's calling that template and whatever's in this PHP file is gonna get dumped here. Right, so let's have a look in that file. And this is basically a load of dynamic stuff that WordPress is inserting into the page. Now, the stuff it's inserting is, let's bring up this, go into the page. The first thing is the ID of the page. So it's just going to output that there, all right? And if this was, say, uh, ID of one or two, then it's just going to be page one or page two or something like that, okay? Then the class of the post or the page, then it's going to grab the title. And the title is just this thing right here. Then it's going to grab the content, which is all this stuff here, and it's going to output that. And then it's going to do this little function called WP Link Pages. That's just the uh, pagination for your page or your post or whatever. And uh, then at the bottom, it's got this little entry footer with the edit post link. And that edit post link, if we view this in a browser, let's view the page. That edit post link is outputting this thing right here. Okay, so if I click this, if I'm logged in, you can see I've got this little admin bar, uh, bar at the top. If I'm logged in and I view this page, I get this little quick link here. So if I click edit, it's going to take me to this page so I can quickly edit the post, right? You don't see this if you're not logged in, this edit thing. So if I log out and then if I go to the sample page again, this time I don't see that edit link, right? So it's only for people that are logged in so they can quickly go and edit that link. So that's what that does. And then as we come down, we've got the end of the footer and the end of this article tag right here that the whole thing's contained in. So that's what this little content page template part does. It just grabs all of that content from the page and it dumps it in this page.php template right here. Okay, so we've got all that. And then below that, it's doing a little bit more PHP. And this is to display the comments on the page. So it's saying if the comments are open, if we've allowed comments for that particular page, then we get those comments and we display them by using this template part right here. And that is in comments.php. 
and all this stuff right here we can change if we want we can change the div classes or the IDs or how it's outputting the different things right here but for this tutorial I'm not going to do that you know I think it looks pretty alright as it is and yeah we can change the styles later on to make it look a bit different but it's grabbing all the information that we need for comments so that's pretty cool so we're not going to edit that so after the comments closes all the PHP and the main and the div tag then it's grabbing the footer and the sidebar yeah so let's just have a quick look how it seems at the moment in a browser so it looks something like this now first of all we've got the header that's fine and we've got the footer that's fine as well this content right here needs to be pulled in so it's within that central column right and to do that remember we need that class of wrapper applying to all this stuff and then this right here this is the sidebar and i don't want the sidebar showing on static pages i'm just going to show this sidebar on posts like a uh, blog stuff or news okay not for an about us page or anything like that so let's make those edits right now the first thing I want to do is get this div with a class of wrapper and I'll paste it in here like that and we'll end the div right about here and what I'm gonna do is also give this an ID and the ID is gonna be page content and the reason I've done that is because if I want to style something in particular on how pages look then I'm going to use this ID and this is going to identify that we're using the page template and I can use this to target elements within here okay just specific to pages so that's why I've done that um, let's get rid of the sidebar also we don't want that and save it and we'll go back and have another look how this looks right now okay what I want to do is log in that's looking better by the way already I want to log in and I want to style this thing right here with the edit linking so Let's just go to WP admin and log in. And then we'll go and view that page again. Sample page. Okay, cool. That's now here. So if I right click that and inspect the element, we'll just edit it over here in the console. And we can see that we want to change this. I want to give it a little bit of padding and I want to change the background color also. So currently it's loading in these styles. So I want to override that for this entry footer. So I'll grab that class, copy it, and I'm just going to click this link to show me where this footer is in the CSS. And I'll come below it and I'll say footer dots and then the class I just grabbed. So we can override some of these rules. And the padding is going to be 10 pixels all the way around. That looks a little neater. And I'm also going to give it a background of a light gray. Now, as I do that, the edit link pretty much disappears. So let's change the link color also. I'm gonna copy this and paste it underneath. And then I'll say A. And we're gonna change the link color. So we'll say color 333. That's not doing anything. So I think there's another rule overriding it somewhere down here. Yeah, we could rewrite our rules. I'm just gonna put important for now, just so it overrides that. And now we can see it. And that looks better to me. So I'm gonna grab all of that CSS and I'm going to dump it back in this theme. All right, we'll come down to the bottom of this CSS. In fact, we'll just grab it all because we copied it all and we'll paste it all in, save it, and then, oops, refresh over here. And cool, it's all updated. All right then, so that is the page.php template sorted. So whenever we have a new page now, we're gonna have this header at the top, the footer at the bottom, this nice little edit link, and then all the content in the middle. Pretty cool, right? All right then, so that is it for this tutorial. In the next one, what we're gonna do is go ahead and style the post page template, which is the single.php one. So until then guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in that very next tutorial.